my name is Jesse Braxton. I was a victim of a plane crash, and until my death, was stranded on an island left to fend for myself. Video log entry 8. I have no idea who or where I am. I woke up this morning in this cottage, not knowing how I got here. I found this camera and watched some of the recordings on it. It's me in them, but I can't remember any of it. But I thought for the sake of this, Jesse Braxton, I'll record myself for future reference. How did I even get here? What is this place? Man, this is so confusing. Okay, breathe. Breathe, breathe. Maybe something around me could give me a clue as to where I am. Bed, sword, pickaxe, crafting table, furnace, torches. Nothing is out of the ordinary. Everything seems normal, but doesn't feel normal at the same time. Wait, is that a parachute? Parachute, yes. Skydiving. A plane crash. Yeah. There was, there was an accident. Some, some storm. No, it wasn't a storm. Some light took down the plane I was in. Oh, and I, I broke my arm, but it's all good now. Did I break my arm? Oh man, why is it so hard to remember? Yes, the, the light, it wasn't an ordinary light. There was, it went purple. Is that significant? I, who else was on that plane? I can't recall. All I know, I was the only survivor. But who am I? I am Jesse Braxton. Yes, of, of course. I remember now. I crashed here about a week ago. I climbed up this mountain and, and built this shelter. I've been living off the land with the help of these thoughts that pop into my mind occasionally. Yes, it, it, it's all coming back. That's why all this seems normal to me, because it was put in my head to feel that way. All well, except the parachute. The pilot. I, rem I remember now. He died, but... But he didn't die. He came back. I buried him, but... But he came back. Maybe I should watch more of the recordings to try to figure out what's going on. Hopefully that fills in more of the gaps. So after this morning's events, I look back over some of my earlier recordings and now it does make a bit more sense. Well, at least everything after the crash. Before that, things are still way too fuzzy. Almost non-existent. Like all that talk about my parents, doesn't seem like it could have been me. I don't even know my parents, let alone have any emotional connection to them. Something else I did notice was music in the background of the last recording, which is strange because I swear I could not hear any music while I was recording it. I wonder, wonder where it could have come from. It seems to be just part of this world, I guess. So weird. With my memory mostly back to normal, I continued where I left off, going further down into the spider cave. And yes, I did take torches with me this time. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but I can say that that room was just the beginning. Everything seemed to be going further down from there. And, uh, so I followed the path and stabbed torches into the wall as I went along, which provided a sense of direction as well as a steady source of light. I eventually reached this giant ravine. The entire floor of it was just lava. And near the near the base of it was this 
a steady flow of water and wherever the water touched the lava it turned into this strange looking purple rock might be significant something else i also noticed was that the walls of the, of the ravine was covered in ores and minerals i was able to reach some and mine as much as i could i couldn't quite make out what they were down there it wasn't too bright but when i brought it up here i saw what i found was uh, coal and, and iron put the iron in, in the furnace to clear off any impurities and use the coal to, to burn the fire hot enough. That reminds me, I did see something in the ravine. Something quite odd, I thought. I couldn't make out too well with just the light from the lava and the torches, but across the ravine from where I was, I saw what it looked like moss growing on the wall. And amongst the moss, I saw a crack in the wall where I swear it could have been movement, maybe just a trick of the eye, but definitely something interesting which I'll, I'll want to go check out tomorrow. It's just getting across might be a bit tricky, but I'm sure if there's a will, there's a way, right? I'll figure something out. But right now, I think I should be getting some sleep. I've done a lot of exploring today in the cave and it's going to be quite tiring. I should be able to do something with all this iron, but I'll try tomorrow. Until then, Steve out, Braxton out. Who's Steve?